Hello retail traders. I'm Washboard Jim with a Sneaky Snake Trading Strategy where I build a trading strategy where I talk about chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now. And today I'm going to show you a couple ideas on how to trade the SPY and things to look for to get you inside of the SPY, to get you in the trade. And I'm talking about supports and then exit ideas once you hit the resistance part. When to go, know to get out in a safe place and take a little break. So this is the SPY. This is what we looked at today. You can tell there was a lot of volatility in it, but it was very, very easy to chart today. I've been talking to the room about expansion patterns and megaphone patterns. I've been talking about double tops, triple tops, triple bottoms, double bottoms, inverse head and shoulders, and we're just going to go right through them right now. So right at open, we started creating what you would call a Darvis box. We took the trade off the 200 SMA right at open. I jumped right in it. Didn't hesitate one bit. Once we hit that 200, I got in the trade, and I run it on up, and I can't remember exactly where I got out at, but it could have been this here, one, two, three, as I started to go up, or it could have been up here at the double top. It was a fast scalp. I got in and out of the trade real fast to break the ice, but we took it off the 200 SMA. It had a double bottom off the wicks, and that was my pattern. So I took it right there, and I run it up to a double top, got out of the trade. She came back again, retested, and moved on up. So I called out this one right here. This is called the Three Black Crows. Uh, today I called it the Three Black Hoes. And we went ahead, took the trade off the third crow, inverted hammer, run it up, and got out of the trade off these two engulfing candles. That was trade number two. Now, we've developed a pattern on the way up. There's your three black crows right here. One, two, three, and we took it again. I called the three black crows out, and we run it up to the first crow. Got out of the trade. Now by this time, we started to develop what you would call a megaphone pattern. So I went ahead and I drew this pattern out. I said, hey, <clears throat> we got a megaphone pattern here. I about lost my voice today. I had so much fun. You can probably hear the crackle in it right now. I'm going to have to give it a rest. So let's go ahead and draw this in. A megaphone is an expansion pattern. So you, you go from right here to right here, and you extend that on out. You go from right here to right here, and you extend that on out. So once we got in this trade, we had the double top, and you were able to get back in at the 200 again. I called it out. I said, hey, we're hitting 200. We could go ahead and maybe fill this expansion pattern and get out of the trade. Well, right when I got in that trade, boom, we had that hammer. So I jumped in that trade and I got out of it right there at the top of that resistance. That's called a megaphone expansion pattern. So I got out of the trade. I called it out early. I got out in the heat of the moment. Nobody can see this. People like me can. And I knew that that was an exit idea. And then she pulled back again, had a big knife. And I said, knocked on the door. I said, hey, we're going to hit the bottom of this megaphone pattern. Take a look at it. And let's see, because it broke a new low. Let's look at yesterday's low and see what's going on. Uh-oh, we got a double bottom from pre-market lows. Run that trade back up and take it up to that there neckline. At that time, it started to create a head and shoulders. So that's a shoulder line. You run it up from the bottom of this here, third bottom. One, two, three. Boom. Now, another thing you can notice, if you draw out the snake, I'm really losing my voice. been a long time so I called out the snake 
I said, if you didn't take the trade yet, we had three white soldiers. Three white soldiers is a leading indicator that we could be going to the upside. So we pulled back and we retested. We had the snake break out, pull back, boom. So we had the three white soldiers. Then I knew we were good. So it hit the nine, still didn't respect the nine EMA, and pulled on back. And then you got the snake break out, pull back with a higher low with a hammer take the trade, run it up to that shoulder line of this inverse head, of this head and shoulders. See how it, 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 it found resistance? And then once it hit up here, it just didn't want to break that shoulder line of that head and shoulders. So it pulled back down. Now this is a megaphone, and we pulled right back down to the bottom of that megaphone support. And I knocked on wood, and I said, hey, keep an eye on this trade, and I'm going to see if it's okay. So what I did is I went to the previous day, and I found this one, two, three, one, two, three, it was a head and shoulders. So I took my trend line, and I said, I'm, and I did say it, I said, I'm only going to count these three because they were kind of straight across. So I drew a price line. Now I'm looking for support to make sure we had a bottom. So I want to put a price line right there. And that created the right shoulder and the left shoulder of this head and shoulders. We had a one, two, three breakout yesterday. She landed right on that shoulder line then she came out and I held on to the trade and I held on to the trade and I held on, I talked myself into holding on to the trade because I said, I feel very bullish today, very, very bullish. And I think we could get back up here to the double top. So I got up here and I was up about a hundred percent and I sold the contracts. I got out, boom. And then all of a sudden we started pulling back. I think I got out right here. All of a sudden, we started pulling back. We landed right on that shoulder line of this head and shoulders. So I called out the trade. I said, I'm going to take the trade. And then it ran up here, and it hit this shoulder line of this head and shoulders. So at the end of the day, and I timed it. I told the room I'm going to give this trade 20 minutes when I started looking at the clock. I think it was like 35 minutes. And then at a certain point, I said, I'm going to get out of this trade at four minutes till four. And I was counting the clock. It wasn't moving yet. I was getting real close to the time. <laughs> I mean, it was about, oh, I, I can't remember the time, but I know I got out of the trade right at, 10 minutes before the um, the market closed. I timed it perfect, right to the minute. I was playing that lotto play at the end of the day. So it, it all traded very well. We had, well, I think we had four or five good trades off this stock. It even pulled back and hit the 200 right here and run up to a double top. But I held on to it. And just kept riding up. I added on to it. I think I got in here at a double bottom on the day. And then I had to look because we started knifing again. And then I saw that previous resist support. And I decided to go ahead and jump in. Well, that's a spy. I about lost my voice. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. It was just a wonderful day to be trading this today. And expansion patterns, triple bottoms double tops, inverse head and shoulders, head and shoulders, and three black crows. And I've got people singing three black coat crows right now. They're turning a lot of people that were thought it was a bear sign into a natural uh, rebounce, retrade. I mean, re, you know, rescalp it back up to the upside. I can't talk, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm not making any sense. I wish everybody a great day. It's Washboard Jim with a sneaky snake trading strategy. Have a great day.